Frank, higher alpha generation potential with which the small cap universe is associated is normally linked with higher volatility. Can this be a problem for small caps and can they also suffer from lack of liquidity potentially? So that's the, um, the flip side of the coin, should I say. Yes, we have um, some advantages compared to large caps that we, we talked before, but also we have common risk factors. And this volatility, this higher volatility, um, is there because we have um, higher specific risks with small caps, definitely, and we have much lower liquidity. Okay. Now, by diversification to an equity portfolio and a different risk return profile, I meant that generally small caps tend to outperform, and here I'm talking about returns, tend to outperform large caps at the beginning of the cycle. There's plenty of liquidity, there's plenty of earnings potential, they tend to grow faster. Then in the middle roughly of the economic cycle, they will do equally as large caps. And then of course, right before the, um, the downturn, they will underperform and they will suffer from higher volatility and um, low liquidity. But in terms of this diversification, Frank, how many stocks would you typically have in a small cap portfolio? Would it be less concentrated and more diversified than a large cap fund in order to reduce risk? Because of these specific risks that we talked about, the specific risk and the, the lack of liquidity, it is key to build a small cap exposure through a well diversified portfolio. Therefore, uh, inevitably, you will have more uh, stocks in a small cap portfolio than in a large cap one. It has to be more diversified. And Frank, research has also showed that those countries with a greater penetration of SMEs have a healthier economy in, in general than those dominated by a small number of, of large companies. So we're, we're doing good for the world as a whole, for economies as a whole, rather than just our, our profits in our pockets as well. There's a bit of that because, you know, you're buying uh, with small and mid caps uh, the big companies of the future. So definitely you're buying more innovation, you're buying um, all the new things that uh, will be in the uh, main market uh, five or ten years down the road.